lines written, no time slipping. When we rhyme spitting, divine mission. Since the house days, GA grandma left DJ town to outrage. The South stays about that Beretta clapping. Lines balanced with rhyme talent for a better rapping. It'll never happen. That's what my friends say on your bitch silly with Chris Kelly, the bitch great. What's good, y'all? No mercy. Trap New York shit. No mercy. TV.com. I got a couple battles to come and talk to y'all about today, man, because I don't know. Over these past couple days, shit been kind of lit. You feel me? Just in terms of uh, just battle rap wise. No extra shit. Just, you know, talk going back and forth between battlers. So, um, let's talk about it, man. Uh, Jada Nightwing versus John John the Dawn. Let me, let me get that out of the way first. That's supposed to be going down. Guessing on rookies versus vets. You know, um, listen, man, I don't feel like it's going to be any different than every other John John battle against the rookie. It's just not like I haven't like Jaden Nightwing. He's good. It's not getting twisted. He's good. He's fire. Um, he got a dope style. His delivery is crazy. His haymakers be wild, but he hasn't shown me anything that makes me feel like John John got anything to worry about. You understand? Like I, I need to. I need to feel worried for John John. I need to be sitting here like, damn, John John might actually you lose this one. I haven't felt like that with none of these guys. You understand? And he proves me right. And John John proves me right every time. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I might try to find somebody to bet money with and start making a living off of betting on John John battles. Because can't none of y'all niggas beat him. Like, it just don't happen. So, you know. I don't think Jay has what it takes for this battle. Uh, these guys are, are calling out John John, which to me is just like a bit too early in their career. Like, why would you want to take somebody that early on that doesn't lose? Somebody who's just too seasoned and is already developed and knows how to win in that ring. You understand? Um... And I think that's one of the skills that people have to start developing. Like, know how to win first. Once you've shown that you've went on a nice streak and you know how to win battles, then maybe call out John John. Because that, that's what y'all two will have going against y'all. Y'all will um going against each other. Y'all both will have that attribute of, hey, I know how to win battles. You understand? John John doesn't have a really I don't want to say he has it like he doesn't really have a distinct style because he approaches each battle differently. But it's like, look at how long he's been around. And to at this point still be able to give performances like he did with Jack Boy, that says a lot. That says a lot. He's not gonna fall off anytime soon. You understand? The Jack Boy performance, you have to think. Most people are in a prime and battle rap, maybe within like the first uh two or three years that they touch the big stage. And then after that, they kind of like, you know, dwindle a little bit. But John John is still putting on performance of the year performances. How do you beat something like that? And you're a new nigga just coming into this shit. Like, I, I, I just don't see it, you know? So I feel like Jada Nightwing, man, if, if this is locked and it's actually going down, I got to see how much money I got in the bank. I'm about to, when it comes to John John, right? John John, one of them niggas, you take all of the money that you got in other places, you cash out everywhere, get your little 10, 20,000 together, and find some idiot that's willing to bet that much against John John, and then just come right up and then invest all that money back, and then you have your free 10 or 20,000. You understand? Like, that. that's going to be my mindset, like, Bet somebody $50,000 that John John is going to whip this nigga ass. And, like, he's such a safe bet. Like, you, niggas, niggas got to be, it, it got to be at a point where niggas got to be, like, scared. Niggas have to be scared for something. Niggas have to be frightened, like, yo, I don't know, John. 
you 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 normally win, but you, no, I haven't felt like that in a while. So you know, Jay Jay the Nightwing hasn't done enough to change that. So you know, um, I just don't be wanting niggas' careers to get ended before they start because you know, Jack Boy and I rock with Jack Boy heavy, but for him to have called out John John so much and have made they they uh they quarrel such a big deal, and then to get super smoke like that, like. Man, it, it's damn near career ended. Like, Jack Boy had to sit down for a bit. Not to mention, you know, he had the franchise battle afterwards where he got smoked. It's like, he just can't get a break. You know, so n niggas is looking at Jack Boy like he's where Rich Dollar's at. Like, they looking at Jack Boy like he in the gulag. So, you know, um, I, I just don't think Jaden Nightwing is going to change that. So, he, he need to come with it if he's going to be battling John John. You understand? Um... Daylight versus Rum Nitty. Man, I don't know what the issue is with them two niggas. Two super bar heavy niggas who every time they on the stage, they are rapping their asses off. This is a battle I wouldn't mind seeing just for that aspect. Like, it's, it's, it's just a straight bar fest. You know, but um, for some reason, they, they can't get it together. <laughs> like, you know, um, I watched Daylight stream on YouTube. He said that uh, at first, the battle was booked on RBE. Um, something about the day contracts. I, I don't, you know, know the specifics, so I'm not even gonna go too deep into that. That that was, I I don't know something about the pay per view percentage, and they was like, you know, it's too much of a gamble, or whatever the case is. Um, then it was supposed to be booked on traffic. That fell through because you know Corona and stuff like that happened, and now it's like you know they're trying to get it set up again. But um, I want to see that battle. I want to see that battle. I think that will be a, a great ball fest battle. But um, for some reason, it's just not happening. You know, um, it seemed like they like ducking to me. It seemed like they like ducking. They like stop the ducking, man. Stop the ducking. Stop the trolling. Because I made a post on Facebook, right? I made a post on Facebook. And I tagged both of them because I watched Nitty's interviews on Hip Hop Is Real where Nitty said he ready to go, but he don't know what's up with Daylight. So, you know, um, I made a post and I tagged both of them. I'm like, yo, Daylight, you ducking rum? And um, <laughs> Daylight is on some, well, yeah, the rum just battled LL Cool G for 1300 and um, what, what else he said? Like, and then I made another post today about uh, the Reed Dollars versus Rum Nitty rumor that's going around. And Daylight immediately just jumps on the post, start laughing like, yo, stop the trolling and get in the ring, Day. You feel me? Like, this is a classic waiting to happen on some West Coast shit, on some bar shit. Like, we just seen how Daylight did against Rock. So it's like, we already know Daylight versus Nitty is going to be retarded. Like, that's that's going to be a super crazy battle. So, you know, I, I really want to see that. I really want to see that. So, Daylight, stop playing around. Stop ducking. I'm about to, you know, hit Daylight on the inbox, see if he could... You know, come on, uh, truth be told, so we can, you know, get down to the bottom of a few things. But, you know, um, I really want to see that battle. You know, I'm, I'm good. I'm glad to see Daylight's back active in the culture, back doing what he do. Um, he been saying, like, a lot of niggas been ducking him for, you know, these upcoming URL caffeine cards. So it's like, you got niggas ducking you. Don't be turning around ducking niggas, man. You feel me? So uh, that's one of the things I want to see. Um, T-Top versus Swamp. T-Top versus Swamp. I actually just got inboxed the blog. Shout out my guy, Diligent. Um, he, he had inboxed me. Uh, uh, somebody had screen recorded. I guess they was going back and forth on Caffeine. And it's a whole bunch of mix-ups with contracts and battle dates and stuff like that. Listen, man. I don't want to see this battle get endangered. This battle has to happen. This battle has to happen. I don't want this to be one of those situations where the battle is trying to get set up. Then because of confusion with contracts and stuff like that, then it's like... Damn, now we can't, you know, get the battle to be to happen. Um, I, I guess both of them, you know how URL works. Like they they book multiple battles at a time, and some people will be booked for multiple battles, you know, at a time. So I guess that's where the mix up is. But I want to see that battle, man. I want to see Swamp and T Top, man. I, I think that that's one of them battles that, you know, if it's on a rookie versus vets card, it really deserves to be a main event. You understand? Like, cause them two are selling the hell out of their battle. You know what I mean? Like, um, just in terms of a rookies versus vet situation, these are the only two that are really going hard on promo right now. 
You understand? There's not many other battlers that you see really going at it like that. Like them two. And and every time that they go at it, <laughs> it gets crazy. You understand? So um I'm really looking forward to that. You know, and, and then like I said before on the blog, uh <clears throat> I have T Top winning. I have T Top winning. And it's just because like I said, T Top is a star. You know, uh, I feel like Swamp has to just show a little more just in terms of star power and everything. You know, ball-wise, he got it. He got them fire haymakers. He got them dope joints that's going to hit. But I just hope he finds the balance. Like, and that, that'd be a lot, of, uh, a lot of the newer guys. That's just the thing they have to find the balance. Like, they have the bars. They nice. But it's like, everybody's nice. Everybody correct. What is going to make you stand out? And once you find that right balance of, like, your character and blending that into what you do with your material. Once you find that proper balance, you're going to be good money. You understand? So, uh, that's what I want to see in this battle. Um, Swamp not going to be able to just have boss. He's going to have to have jokes. He's going to have to be real creative. You know, T top, um, ever since the math battle, he's been kind of jumping in the bag where he's just, he's not just fully so focused on the drug raps. Like he has angles. He has, uh, Sometimes has multi. Sometimes his his delivery is crazy. Like his haymakers be wild. His his prop game. Y'all seen the self checkout joint? Like t like T Top really knows how to get creative. You know. So I think that's gonna really be the difference in this battle. But I want to see it, man. I want to see it. I'm really looking forward to that battle. That's. I think that's one of the battles that I'm probably the most hyped for at this point. You know. So I'm I'm really hoping that joint goes down and um. This Reed versus uh this Reed Dollars versus Rum Nitty, if this is real, man, uh I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it because Reed Dollars did extremely well against Surf. You know, and to hold his own against somebody like Surf, who, you know, is is really just a, a, a star in itself, you know, um, I think that was impressive. I think that was impressive. And I think it kind of solidified Reed in a manner that he can start getting those kind of plates, like the surfs, the rum nitties, et cetera, et cetera, like the guys who are really like the 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 current active pillars of the culture right now, you know. So read read and rum. If I had to call a prediction, mm, it's tough. It's tough because uh, Nitty is going to easily outbar Reed Dollars. Like Nitty is going to easily outbar him. Like I don't think that's going to be an issue, but. Reed sometimes gets into this bag where he got different flow patterns and shit like that. And it's like, Nitty might outball Reed, but I don't think he's going to necessarily out-rap him, if you get what I'm saying. Like, if you understand rapping ability and shit like that. Because neither one of them really are like... <clears throat> neither one of them are really like too performance heavy. <clears throat> so... You know, it's, it's really going to be about raps and bars and, you know, things of that nature. It's not going to be, um, they don't really have personals like that. So it's going to be one of those battles that's really going to come down to, you know, content and material, who deliver their shit the best and things of that nature. So I, I really feel like this is going to be more of a closer battle than a lot of people think. You understand? So um, if I had to give a prediction, I say read 2-1. I say read 2-1. No, no, I'm bugging. Not read 2-1. Nitty 2-1. Nitty 2-1. Don't. Because <laughs> niggas will take this and run with it. Nitty 2-1. I got Nitty 2-1 against Reed. You feel me? But I don't feel like it's going to be a body. I don't feel like nobody's going to get walked over. So, you know, let's just see what happens, man. So, that's really all I came to talk about to y'all today. You know, those four battles. Daylight versus Rum. Reed versus Rum. Jada Nightwing versus John John. T-Top versus Swamp. Like, we got, we got some decent battles coming up. We got some decent battles coming up. Um, Jag versus Math. That one, too. Uh, you know what's crazy? I had called Jag versus Math on the prediction blog that I did for the event. But uh, I seen a clip that Jag posted on Twitter. A clip of just him rapping, going, you know. Um, and he was rapping, like, how a battler will rap on stage. And I'm like, yo, if this how Jag is rapping during the Math battle... Jag might get one of them rounds, man. My my math three zero prediction. I don't know, man. I'm 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 working on. I, I might have to change that one. I might have to do a little math two one. But I feel like Jag is gonna get around because he's showing that he can rap. He's showing that he can rap. Now we haven't seen him do this on stage. 
you understand, I guess in quite a long time, but you know, in, in, in today's battle rap, but um, in terms of if he can rap and if he can do it, he sound like he got the, he got it. He sound like he got it. He got that strong delivery. He a big dude. So, you know, he going to be probably all in mad face rapping that shit. And I, I, I think that's going to be dope. I actually, I like, I actually feel like this is going to be a really good battle, you know, and I hope math is, is seeing all of these clips and stuff like that. That way he could really get focused and really get in his bag and take the battle serious. Because like I said, when it comes to math and um, a lot of these battles, I feel like he only does his best when he's passionate about the battle. When it's just a random battle that, you know, don't really have no, no history or no motivation behind it. Math is iffy. He don't really do that well, but, um, seeing how Jag is, you know, dropping these clips and can possibly make math the underdog. If he continues to show that he can do this shit, then I think math will have a decent enough motivation to say, hold up. Let me just not look at this as a paycheck. Let me really take this guy seriously and get him all the way out of here. You understand? So um, I, I think Jag is, is doing a good job of that. So I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to give Jag a round. I'm going to give Jag a round. I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to say math 2-1. I'm going to say Mav 2-1, but i tell you like this. If Jag keep on, you know, dropping throwaways and stuff like that, and he's showing that he can really, really do this, I don't know. Because style-wise, looking at how he was in that clip, I don't know. If he come with three rounds of that, he might beat Mav. I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. So, you know, um, let, let's see what happens, man. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this battle. I'm really you know, getting more excited for it now that I see like he's really in tune and things of that nature. So I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little bit more excited for this battle now. Like I, now I really want to see it. Like, you understand what I'm saying? So, you know, um, let me know y'all thoughts in the comments about all those battles. And, um, I'll be at y'all soon, man. No mercy track, New York shit, no mercy TV.com. Get your no mercy TV bandanas. Link is in the description. Also check out 8 AM. Shout out my guy diligent. Check out his stuff in the description as well. And, um, I'll see y'all soon, man. I'm out of here. No mercy track, New York shit. I'm out.